Welcome everybody to an extra magical online flower show. Today is going to be, or is promising to be a very special show because we're going to work with some beautiful products. We're going to talk about the untamed beauty of flowers uh, together with Ball. So uh, let's quickly get uh, Carmen in from Ball and uh, she can tell what we will see today and which beautiful products uh, we're going to see uh, today. So uh, welcome Carmen. Hi John, thank you. Good morning, yep. everybody. I'm Carmen. I am the marketing manager for Ball SB. And today we're very excited about this show because for the very first time, we're going to be presenting a new line for Ball, our chrysanthemums. Wow. We have daisies, tantinis, cushions, novelties. And the good thing is that after five years of working into this program, we are very happy with the selection that we already have. The results are spectacular. You will see it on the show. And the good news also is that a lot of the farms are already trying them, finalizing their trials. So very soon, they're going to be in the market. So watch out for them. Let us know which ones are your favorite ones. Yeah, please let us know in the comments. Uh, also, let us know where you're from. And uh, yeah, good morning, good afternoon, or good e evening uh, to everybody uh, who's watching. Uh, yeah, Carmen, thank you very much that we can work with the, yeah, the beautiful products. I mean, uh, we got them in and we were so surprised with the variety of colors and, and varieties and, and shapes and everything. It's beautiful. And, and I can see Mark already jumping up and down. He wants to start uh, to, show the pro to show the product as well. So let's, Mark, let us know what you think. Yeah, let's quickly invite uh, Mark into the live stream. And if you have any questions for Carmen, please ask them in the comments as well. She's there the, the whole time. So uh, I think it's time to start, Carmen. Let's get the, ro the show going. Yeah. Mark, Hi, Carmen. Hi, John. Um, so nice to uh, do this again for uh, for you, um, especially with the nice products of Ball Company. Um, so, you know, let's get started. An hour full of beautiful arrangements and bouquets I have been thinking about and, you know, incorporating all these beautiful products into, uh, yeah, beautiful designs. Mm -hmm. So I made a base, start off, uh, as you can see, with pink. Pink is also always a main color in flowers. Uh, yeah. It starts to change. Here's my lovely assistant. Hi, <laughs> Carmen. Hi. <laughs> so, <clears throat> of course, um, to um, look, have a look at uh, all the chrysanthemums. I will, you know, each arrangement. I will show them a little bit more up close, and John also will incorporate a picture of it. Yeah. Or maybe I can do it like this. I mean, you know, to show them up a little bit closer by as well. It looks like a bicolor, does it? There yeah, there is, a little, there is a little stripe into it as well. I, I definitely like this one, you know, because it's also, you know, uh, a nice filled flower. Yeah. Um, so that's the chrysanthemum I'm going to work with. Um, yeah. Then I have also some stock. Also ball product. Yeah. I'm trying to use all ball products, so some nice stock, and of course, green ball, yeah. and some dianthus, and of course, some lisianthus. And, and as you can see, I mean, the color scheme is monochromatic, but later in the designs, I will, you know, also do some wild colors together. Okay, great. And I can see we already got uh, quite some people in. Uh, Liz is in from saying hello, hello from Dublin. Uh, Walter is in. Hi from Holland. We've got uh, Barbara Blossom in. Hi from Rhode Island, USA. Uh, Anne is in. Hello from Ukraine. We've got Nyla in uh, from Holland saying hello. Uh, and we got April in. Hi from Scotland. We've got Christina in who's saying hi from Croatia. We've got uh, Lubitsa in, hi from Slovakia. Slovakia, I'm sorry. We've got Anna in from Ana Patricia Silva from the Azores, Portugal. So uh, we already get people in from all over the world. That's great. Nice. Thank you that you all joined us for uh, this uh, special uh, flower show, flower circus show. What I've done is I had um, 
put this together. It's a glass container and it's felt, felt wool. Um, instead of using always that foam, um, I try to also look for different uh, materials that I, I can incorporate in my designs. And I came up with this material. And of course, it's also filled up with water, as you can see. Yeah. Um, and I cramped it up a little bit. I mean, um, so we can stick some flowers into the holes in between. I'll show you up close a little bit. Oh, this gives a great effect. Yeah. I mean, so you don't have to cover the glass base uh, because of the foam with leaves or anything else. Or um, so, and now I'm going to use the green ball as uh, like a start. We also got uh, Nelia in from uh, the flower island of Madeira. Oh, wow. Welcome. Welcome. Beautiful color of the stocks as well, by the way. Definitely. Light pink. Really good quality as well. Yeah. And what I always like is, is the green balls. It's the same family as the other Deontas that you have uh, lying around there, but it's a totally different shape. Yeah, it's beautiful. And actually, it's it's really nice to use and incorporate it into weddings as well because you can decorate your uh, table with it because they also can be used dry as well. They will last for like one or two days. Um, so you just take them off the, the, the stem. Yeah. Place them on the table as green moss. Um, that works really well. Okay, that's a good one. So, and it's uh, going to be an upright design. And make sure that the flowers, of course, you put all the way to the bottom to get uh, them to the water. Yeah. Now I'm using some Lysianthus. Peeking a little hole a little bit. Actually, the, the, the show we do today is at a Dutch Lysianthus grower. They've got an experience center there uh, where we uh, do actually all our shows. That is really, really a great place uh, yeah, to work. Wow, it's, it's already beautiful, Mark. Well, then I will continue to my next uh, arrangement. <laughs> Shall I finish? <laughs> no, not yet. I see you still have some flowers left. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I need to incorporate the chrysanthemum as well. Yeah. And as you can see, that um, I, uh, I I take a lot of the leaves off. I mean, because yeah. those are the ones the chrysanthemums last, of course, a long, long time. But um, the leaves will sometimes turn yellow, and I don't want to have that in my arrangement as well. So that's why I take most of the leaves, I, I take them off. Okay. Uh, April, is, April Hernandez is saying, I love the use of the felt here. Very innovative. Yeah, it's something different. Yeah. I mean, as a designer, always look around what kind of materials you can use for making a floral design. I mean, sometimes you have to try it out and, um, you know, think about what you can do with it. But um, oh. what? What? one minute, uh, Mark, you're, uh, you're away. So uh, if John can, uh, can fix the connection, there's something happening uh, in the air. There's not only love in the air today, there's uh, <laughs> some, some connection that isn't working uh, as well. So let's see if, uh, if Mark comes back uh, quickly, because uh, I can't wait to see uh, the rest of the design and all the, 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 the beautiful chrysanthemums of Ball. And uh, I already got him back here. Yeah, from the other camera. I hope I can hear him as well. We can't hear him yet there, but uh, we can see he's still working. He's, he's using different layers there as well, which is really beautiful. So you can see uh, the flowers on the different layers and everywhere something is happening. And let's see, I think we're getting, yeah, we're back again there as well with the main camera. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got two of them uh, back again. So uh, welcome back, Mark. <laughs> that one worked out. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's uh, oh, Anna saying it's the competitors trying to spoil the stream. Magic! <laughs> ah, it's magic. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, uh, I just told Mark that you're using or you're working in different layers. Yeah. And I start off with the base and then I try to make it higher and higher and higher up. I mean, I have a final, final chrysanthemum. You know, and, it, and it's all sides. I mean, yeah, you can turn it around. It can be on the it table. And it can be in the center of, of a table or... And also, you can make a real big piece, and then on, on the center table and on the, the tables around it, can make some smaller ones with the same flower, so you get the same look all over yeah. the place. Wow, it's really beautiful, and the colors are really matching as well. Let me see. And people, uh, please let us know in the in the, in the comments as well what you think of the bouquet and of course as well about uh, the chrysanthemums from Ball. If you, what do you think of them? We love them already because uh, it's already five years of hard work and they, they look beautiful. And I uh, can't wait uh, to see what's coming up more. Liz is saying beautiful. And Mark, uh, well, Mark uh, can't stop, and he's still looking for the final details to make it uh, look even better. Yes, of course. I mean, it has to be a complete arrangement, replacing the flowers a little bit. But yeah. here you go. It's really beautiful, Mark. I mean, uh, for me, it's uh, a big thumbs up. So uh, if you like. Uh, if you like the bouquet, please uh, put the thumbs up as well. I see a big thumbs up from Carmen uh, as well here. So uh, it looks it's, really beautiful. You see with the green base, you know, it makes a sort of edge around the container. Uh, it's on the uh, pink on, on the bottom and the pink will come back uh, in the flowers. And I think it's really monochromatic and really, really nice. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So that's the first one. Great. Up to the next one. Up to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Anna saying stunning. And then we have uh, Kavita saying watching from India, enjoying the programs. Uh, Liz is saying uh, Chrysanne's name would be great. That's the thing, uh, Liz. Uh, we are the first one to, and we are the first one to work with it, and you are the first ones to see it. It's, it's, it's still in the beginning. I mean, uh, Ball just started with it. We've got actually one variety that already has a name. So if somebody has a name, please put them in the comments as well. Uh, it will help Ball as well to, to get some, some names as well for the chrysanthemums. But normally uh, working with new varieties, people or the, the breeder starts with uh, numbers. Uh, and then later when it's commercial, they can give it a name. And uh, maybe uh, Carmen can say a little bit about that as well, why, uh, why there aren't uh, as much uh, names yet uh, for the variety. So Carmen, can you please explain us? Yeah, we usually go to like a brainstorming with the entire team and we think of what the flower really remembers. It reminds of uh, <coughs> do an internal contest to finalize the name. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys have perfect names for it, suggest them that that will help us a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah, I already got a one from Liz is already uh, helping out. She's saying uh, pink perfection for the pink, pink one. We just uh, and still uh, compliments are coming in, uh, Mark, for the nice bouquet. Christina is uh, putting thumbs up. Um, uh, what do we have here uh, as well? Walter is sending his, uh, his love. Uh, then we have uh, Anne Gunsin from, from Belgium. Hello, Anne. Thank you for joining again. I've uh, got another name, Candy. Candy. So, yeah. So uh, I think we've got uh, quite some names already, uh, Carmen. And we'll let every, everyone know if we chose one of those for the pink stripe chrysanthemum. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Thank you, Carmen. I think we go uh, quickly to, to the next bouquet. Absolutely. So, Mark, tell so, 
<clears throat> I started working on uh, on the this will be a frame bouquet, uh, as you can see. Uh, this is metal wire in uh, a color, and viewers that have been watching our shows uh, before, they probably will have seen that you can do lots and lots of things with this type of wire. It's flexible, it's bendable, um, you can put it in water, it won't rust, um, and it has all these kinds of colors. But um, I made this frame in a circle, a circle um, and to support my flowers. Um, and for this bouquet, I'm starting off with the frame yeah. um, to put uh, some leaves into it, Grevillea leaves. Uh, and actually, what, the flower will also be orange, orange yellow. Um, and then I have three types of chrysanthemums. I have a yellow one, an orange one, and a dark burgundy, reddish color one. Um, so it will be a vibrant, vibrant uh, type of bouquet. Yeah, I mean you got you got the daisies in there, you got the cushions in there, uh, you got the novelty. So everything's in there. <laughs> looks like it. Well, I've been picking and choosing in all the varieties of chrysanthemum, and I sorted out these three types or three these three colors because I think they are really well matching with each other. Yeah, they look really beautiful. Um, and again, as you can see, I also, you know, almost um, took out all of the leaves. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can see the frame as well. Uh, Mark, how, I mean, frame bouquets uh, sometimes take a lot of time, but how much time did you spend on this uh, frame? Um, I've, I've done this frame before. So, um, you know, uh, I know how the material works and I spend about eight to 15 minutes on it. Yeah. Uh, because I know what in my head, I already designed the bouquet uh, in front. Um, you know, so I know what kind of, how large the frame has to be, um, you know, where I want to place my flowers. Um, and as you can see, I'm still adjusting the frame as well. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's the easy part with uh, with the wire. Uh, Kavita is asking, is the wire by Oasis? Um, I think th that's one of the companies that will sell these types of um, yeah uh, wire types. Yeah, we got uh, Jeffrey in as well, watching from Kenya. Nice. Thank you for watching, uh, Jeffrey. Uh, oh, we got really some beautiful varieties. I've got some details as well of, uh, of the varieties. I mean, look at, at this one. I mean, the color is is great, and especially combining with with the yellow as well. I mean, that makes it, it, it really great. It will stand out. The yellow later on will stand out. Yeah, and John is also making some, some details uh, of the flowers as well. Beautiful. And actually, uh, for all the people, but especially for Liz, uh, the yellow one has the name already. Yeah. Actually, I have to tell you that this is, um, you know, I just love the vibrant yellow color. I mean, I know a lot of yellow chrysanthemums, but this is a dark, dark yellow. Uh, and I think this one is really, really beautiful. So I hope that a lot of growers are also watching, um, you know, and that they will start producing it because I know for sure that a lot of people will like it because it's sunny, sunny and vibrant. And it's it really is. Coming summer, I think that's a really good chrysanthemum. The yellow one is uh, has a name. Uh, I was telling my story and then uh, I was just watching and, and loving it. So I forgot actually what I wanted to tell. <laughs> it's called uh, Oren. Pay attention, John. Come on, yeah. pay attention. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Mark. <laughs> You're making such a nice arrangement. I was just flabbergasted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's the reason. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. You know, it's it's really beautiful. And, uh, you're also using the uh, flowers only on the outside, so in the ring of the uh, yeah. the wire frame. 
Yeah, I think that's a little bit different. Um, you know, I hope that uh, the people who are watching that they will get some ideas from it and that they can incorporate it, uh, you know, in their own work uh, with something. Um, you know, I can make a bouquet out of these chrysanthemums with all the other flowers, but that's a bouquet. I mean, yeah. let me show you a little bit, you know, the creative side of our uh, our industry. You know, not only using the beautiful products we have that they are grown and, and bred by the ball company, but, you know, also do something a little bit more um, outgoing. I mean, you know, that sometimes, you know, you get inspired from it. It's not, maybe not always usable, but still, I mean, if you, you know, um, adjust to your own taste or, you know, creativity, I mean, maybe sometimes it works out for, for something yeah, Christina is laying, uh, saying, I'm in love with that arrangement. Already, and it's not even done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really beautiful. And, and I like how you combine those uh, colors because they help each other stand out. Yeah. Uh, you know, Christina it's. Saying, uh, I'm in love with that arrangement. Already, and it's not even done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and now I'm also adding a couple of the snapdragons in that color scheme, as you can see. Yeah. Just to give it a little bit of a different touch to it. And of course, I keep on maintaining my, um, you know, spiral technique. Spiral technique. <laughs> I will help you now. Okay. <laughs> I was amazed by my own, you know, bouquet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not only you, Anita Hall Dokman is saying Mark with a and and with love and hearts and everything. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, so good. Yeah. She likes your clothes as well. The, the special <laughs> flower circus. Happy. Yeah. <laughs> so and the final thing to go around is the befleuren just to fill in the holes a little bit on the side as you can see my spiral technique as well and i will finish it up later on with some uh, some rope to tie it off and of course take out all the leaves and now i can even see that i can grasp it a little bit down So I'm still turning my bouquet around. Joe Hammond is saying it's looking beautiful. And that actually it really is. And it's something really totally different than the first bouquet as well, or the first arrangement. Yeah, but that's what I like. I mean, I always look at the at the flowers, um, you know, and the color scheme. You know, especially with these type of colors, it can be more vibrant, more elaborate. Yeah. Um, so that's why I came up with the frame in that particular orange color as well. Um, you know, and it can be a little bit different, it can be a little bit more modern. Um, and the other one is also mixed, but also in a modern style, what I think, but it's a little bit more subtle than this one, but that's all because of the color. Yeah, no, it's, I'm really loving it and, and putting the bupleurum around it as well will give a great effect as well. We will yeah. also make uh, make some pictures and make a lookbook of uh, all the flowers and, and all the bouquets we made uh, this show. And we'll put it on the on our website flowercircus.nl so you can find it there. And of course also on the, on the Facebook page of Ball you can find it as well. So, uh, don't worry, you can take screenshots, of course, as well now, but we will make some pictures and uh, tomorrow, at the end of the day, uh, they will be online on the, on our website. Okay, uh, so saying as well, beautiful. So I'm tying it up. And I'm always using just natural rope because I think that goes really well with the flowers. Sometimes I cheat a little bit, of course, but you know, uh, then I use the then I use a, a rubber band yeah. just to make it easy on myself. But 
the most part, it will be just natural rope. Yeah. And let me see if this one works. Let's see if your technique is right. Yeah, the technique is right. <laughs> there you go. Wow, really beautiful. Let me quickly get into John or video man. Uh, let him get. Um, wait, one second, John. I'm not as quick as you are today. <laughs> there it is. Wow, it's beautiful with all the different kinds of shapes and structures as well. It's not only about the colors, all the shapes and and colors as well. It's wow. You see, and you see the touch of the the, the glistering of the the wire as well. And I I don't mind at all because it, you know, it's now incorporated into the total design. Yeah, it's beautiful. So. Uh, April saying stunning. Uh, Anita saying fantastic job. Uh, Anita is also saying uh, Mark needs to come back to Michigan and make these at my home. <laughs> I wish I wish I could do that. Unfortunately, but maybe in a couple of uh, months it's uh, again possible. Yeah, let, let's hope so. I mean, uh, we can. We all want to to travel again. Yeah. Uh, before you start uh, with, the, with the third bouquet, I want to invite uh, Manuel as well into the live stream. Manuel is uh, the breeder of Ball. So uh, I want to know uh, from Manuel uh, about the whole breeding process and, and how that takes place and, and how we can make such beautiful flowers. Manuel, welcome. How, oh, I can't hear, we can't hear you, uh, Manuel, one second. Yeah, now we can hear you. Hi, John. Thank you for having us here. And uh, Mark, you're doing a great job with those flowers. <laughs> so, Manuel, um, yeah. take us through the, the, the whole breeding process, because uh, there's such a, a, a long period before we see flowers in the flower shops and in the supermarkets. What's your job? What are you doing? <clears throat> OK, well, first of all, I, I also want to say hi, um, Jambo. Uh, hello to everyone that's watching. It's amazing how flowers bring together the world, right? <laughs> um, so yes, basically breeding breeding plants is a, a long process. Uh, there are different strategies among them. I don't want to bore, bo bore anybody, but um, it's also a creative uh, scientific um, uh, discipline, right? Uh, more or less, the least time you can get a new variety uh, is, for example, for chrysanthemums, uh, between three and five years. So it's wow. a long process, right? Yeah. Um, depending on the crop, you can use hand pollination or you can use the, the uh, aid of natural uh, allies like bees. Yeah. So it's, it's a very fun, fun job, <laughs> I yeah. have to say. So you can, the, the nature can help you or you can help the nature a bit. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if, if uh, everybody that's watching knows, but we're, we're in Colombia. We're doing this breeding here in Colombia, South America. So we're complimenting the, the around the world visitors that are watching the show. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And, and I mean, you have so many different shapes as well in the chrysanthemums. That's something you're aiming for or how, how does it work? Well, that's, uh, I would say that's... Uh, a natural uh, trait of chrysanthemums and it makes that breeding program so much exciting because you have a virtually any color i think except blue and uh, you have shapes textures and for a long time i, I think the chrysanthemum uh, industry has been very conservative about what to bring in what categories there are and i am not sure that the final consumer completely agrees with that. So I think we're giving the chance to new things that would be commonly uh, be disregarded in the chrysanthemum industry and trying to give them another chance to give more diversity to the people, to the flower lovers around the world, yeah. right? Yeah, it really is. And, and, and you are not only breeding chrysanthemums, you're also breeding other products as well, because Bo has so many other products as well. Yeah, well, uh, here in Colombia, we're doing five different crops. We're doing chrysanthemums, astromelia, gypsophila, dianthus, and limonium. Okay. So uh, Mark has some of, I think those are some of our limonium sinuatum statis, I think you call them there. Yeah, yeah there's so many names. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no, they're, they're also beautiful. And it, uh, if you compare the chrysanthemums with, for uh, for example, the limonium or gypsophila, is there a, a is it a longer period or a shorter period to get new varieties? Chrysanthemum is one of the fastest growing crops I, I work with. So okay. it's uh, it's very nice because you can see a result uh, relatively quicker than with other crops. Yeah. Uh, and you can increase numbers very quickly. So if you find something that has potential, uh, we basically could uh, very quickly um, increase the numbers and provide to our customers the required vegetable material. Okay, oh, that, that's great. And, and, and first you test it at your own location and then uh... Of course, uh, growers come by and they they test it as well. Then later on their own facilities, or how does that work? Yeah, we we start by checking with the chrysanthemums, for example. We start by checking at our facilities and our our like allies facilities yeah. in the two principal locations <laughs> of Colombia where chrysanthemums chrysanthemums are grown, and we try to try to trial our our crops where the big growers are right or, or yeah. the most amounts are, are planted because a successful variety will will work very well under those conditions but we are also trying to get varieties that work well anywhere that's our that's one of our objectives okay. so we also try i saw someone um, from kenya we also try our varieties in kenya colombia and kenya uh, after uh, the netherlands are one of the top uh, cut flower growers in the world with Ecuador also, so we also try them in Ecuador. Yeah, oh, that's that's great. I mean, yeah. uh, and if uh, if somebody has a question uh, for Manuel, uh, please ask them in the comments as well. I think uh, we quickly also need to get back to Mark because he is so quickly making another really nice uh, arrangement. So thank you for now, uh, Manuel, for, uh, for the great information. Thank you, John. So, Mark. You're so quick. What's happening? I got so many things to to tell you and ask you because uh, first of all, Lydia is saying thanks, thanks, thanks for your demonstration today. Bouquets, great colors in this moment. Very nice contrast. Uh, we've got somebody probably from Greece is saying I don't know what he's saying, uh, but <laughs> I think they are happy. Um, Anita's asking what's around the face of the the arrangement you're making at the moment oh wait mark one second yeah can you say what uh, what's around the face mark please uh just grass long grass okay um, i went outside and i saw some bushes and i just cut it down um you know i thought that was really nice material to do something with it so i brought it along and i didn't have a clue up to this morning what i should do with it yeah one of my tricks i you know um i would like to share with you because insight i don't know if that is going to work but it's a glass container again yeah what okay. i did is uh, around the top and around the bottom i used double-sided sticky tape um then because you know it's going to be a mess but two rubber elastic bands one over here, one over there, and then you start just adding pieces of the grass into it. It will hold uh, because of the sticky tape. Um, then afterwards, you can cut it with a scissor. You know, it's fairly simple to you know make this work. And it's an extra detail. Um, you know, you can do it with just grass material like this, but you can also do it with leaf material. Yeah. Next thing, I'm just filling a vase with beautiful flowers a little bit high and low because i want to show you of course the nice chrysanthemums um you know but what special is about uh, this one of course the color scheme i mean the blue with the orange i think that really pops out um, it really does um the next thing uh, after the tragelium um, I will add some more chrysanthemums to it, but also a little bit deeper into the arrangement itself. Okay. Uh, Alison Bradley is there as well saying, hi, guys. Is it Friday? No, Alison. We've got a, a special, special episode with uh, the beautiful products of, uh, of Ball. And then we have, um, let me see. 
Willy Armelini from Flowers and Sands is in as well, saying uh, greetings, uh, Flower World. Um, Kavita saying a very unusual color combination, but it, it really pops out. Uh, Anita saying this one is cool too. Uh, Anne is in love, can't wait to see all the designs. At the same time, I want to, the show to end. Don't worry, uh, and we still have some, uh, some bouquets uh, to go. This is the third one we're going to make. How many uh, today, Mark? Um, in total, for this hour, I will make six. Six. Um, okay. If if it works out, I mean, yeah. I have to hurry up a little bit, I think. <laughs> but, um, Anita is saying very inventive uh, and cost effective to use the dry grass. Uh, I don't know if uh, the neighbor of Mark uh, agrees on that, uh, Anita, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did it this morning very, very early at about four o'clock uh, this morning, so he didn't Just notice Just for it. me, if the neighbor doesn't agree, he has to cut his grass a little bit sooner than he did. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's also true. He was a little bit late. <laughs> you know, and... With the past arrangements I made and the bouquet, of course, um, I can understand I'm using a lot of flowers. Um, but I know that in this this online presentation, you know, for you to really see it well, I have to use a little bit more than um, we usually do. Um, you know, but it's not only about using the flowers and showing them, but it's also about the techniques and and the tips and tricks. What I you know, want to share with you. Yeah, yeah, that's totally true. Uh, somebody located your uh, neighbors, uh, Mark, so I don't know if you have a problem. Anita is saying his neighbor is, is his aunt or my dad, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> well, anyway, um, here's the end result. I mean, you know, especially with the, the grass, that looks really natural. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. That's not <laughs> that. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> At least it's eatable, uh, Mark. So uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Again, I mean, uh, from me on the bottom. I mean, then again, it looks really natural, and you can transform like a really. Um, hideous, horrible container, still in a nice way, you, you still can use it. So, you know, that's a little bit of a tip of today. Yeah, I mean, so, it's great to, uh, great tip from Mark. If, if you have a container in your flower shop that you can't sell because it doesn't look nice, just cut the grass of the neighbors if it's long enough, and then you can cover uh, the vase. Dimitri <laughs> uh, is in as well. Not only grass, it also can be with nice large leaves or any kind of material branches. That will be also really nice. Okay. Dimitris is in from Athens, Greece as well. Thank you for joining, uh, Dimitris. Uh, Liz is saying love it. Christina is also a uh, thumbs up. So, uh, wow. Okay. First of all, I want to know what's the package in front of you. The pe oh, yeah, I have to show you. Okay. Found oh, this okay. material like blue rope. I mean, I don't know, just ordinary blue tinted rope, natural. Yeah. And then with a foam base, long way, that is normally used for centerpieces. And of course, the gold uh, tray underneath. You know, I just. Throw on the rope. Yeah, the rope actually is something special that we got from uh, Boscales after uh, pulling uh, the the evergreen away. The <laughs> Mark uh, got a piece of that, so he, he's using it now. <laughs> so and um, you know, I, just to cover the base a little bit. And of course, I have some leaves to cover it even more, especially around the edges. Yeah, where you still can see the. Uh, the base, the floral base, but just with a couple of leaves, it will make it so much nicer. Actually, uh, Kavita ha has a great comment here as well. Even an old uh, tin can be used for the previous uh, arrangement instead of a glass container. Anything, 
like an empty jar you have from pasta sauce, um, you can turn it into a flower face. I mean, using your creativity, I mean, you can, you know, make it really work and stand out. Yeah. Well, you are uh, filling up the base with some, some greens. John already uh, shot some of the, the beautiful varieties. I mean, now we're yeah. going to see a mix again. I What do I see there? I see Tanacetum, I see Delphinium there as well. I see so many great products again. And while well, John is making the detail as well. So you already can see that there's hardly uh, any foam noticeable because that's always the details I'm looking for that you don't see that anymore because I think it's not so nice looking. So always try to hide it. Yeah. Now, and I start up with this uh, really nice single chrysanthemum. Some really nice blooms. Yeah. And I start from the bottom again. So I place them really low. And then I will work my way up <clears throat> with some other products and also another white chrysanthemum. Yeah, the daisy one. It's, uh, amazing how many colors, how many shapes, how many flowers. I mean, uh, Carmen, I mean, you supply everything for a flower shop in terms of flowers it's unbelievable yes we supply everything we have limoniums astromelias we have chrysanthemums gypsophilas eh, dahlias stalks eh, oh, matiolas i'm sorry <laughs> snapdragons buplerum campanulas eh, you name it and we pretty much have them wow it's 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 a one-stop shop for growers or for florists i mean also uh on your website you can see all the varieties of course as well and the variety of flowers and and within the flowers all the or the within the the snapdragons and all the other varieties you can see all the colors and everything wow you, thank you very much in 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 the name of i think every florist around the world that that you can make that you make so many nice varieties and so much nice uh, flowers it's, it's, it's really no, it's actually our honor. You guys inspire us to uh, have better varieties and new breeds all the time. Yeah, I mean, th this is, I think, the best thing, working together, showing new things, telling uh, each other about what we like and uh, why we buy flowers, things like that. So if people also watching in the comments, uh, please tell us what you think about the flowers we are using. Uh, Bob can really use the information as well. Tell us uh, what you think about the flowers and what about the designs. So uh, please let us know. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you. So as you can see how that you know shape of this flower design is taking shape. I mean, I used a lot of different summer flowers for it and also with some chrysanthemums. I started off with the base and now I'm just filling in the uh, the, the spots um, to make it a beautiful design again. It's really beautiful again that that from from on the table uh, to higher up everywhere everywhere are flowers. I mean, you are using every flower in its strength as well. Yeah, I mean, and uh, again uh, also with. Uh, the color scheme, I think that's always something. It's, it's one of the four basic principles I always try to remember that um, it's of course it's the it's the shape, it's a form, but one of those things is also like the um, the, the the color scheme. Yeah. You know, uh, especially with the gold and the blue and the the white and a little bit of the yellow hinge. Um, in it, I think that works really well. Liz is saying fabulous selection, Carmen, and of course the rest of the ball team. Uh, Manuel, Manuel, you are doing a great job as well. <laughs> it's it's everybody. It's it's not only Carmen. It's uh, a team effort. It's a team effort. Yeah. Uh, Elena saying uh, uh Liz is saying stunning, Mark. Um, April saying Tanacetum are a favorite of mine, such a cheerful spring and summer flower. 
And it does say, oh, well. Yeah, it's, it's so beautiful. And, and a lot of people uh, remember their child, childhood when they see uh, the Tanasetum as well. Yeah. Everybody has, you know, probably picked uh, in early age uh, Tanasetum to give it to the grandmother or, you know, just to bring it home. And, um, you know, it's, it's also, I really much enjoy it. Once in a while, especially in the summertime, I, I just have to have like a, a huge amount of stems and put it in one vase. And the funny thing about it is that if it's um, really well grown, um, you know, then it also can last long. Yeah. I mean, it will stand for at least around 10 days. I mean, you know, but that's one variety in, uh, in the vase and, you know, that works really well. That's really beautiful. Elena Diaz is asking about uh, roses. Uh, Manuel, is that something you do as well, uh, roses? Uh, one second, I will get you into the live stream. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, technique. Yeah, one second. Um, technique is not my best uh, best thing. <laughs> yeah, there you are. <laughs> Hi, John. Hi, everybody. Hi. Well, um, actually, the I would say that one of the few flowers we don't do are roses and carnations okay so but all the other things you're doing and then and yeah that's specialize right on all the other things okay but i mean also uh thank you uh, manuel and your whole team for all the great flowers uh, you have sent it to us and then it, it, you can see the big smile on mark's face he's really enjoying himself with those beautiful flowers I I'm also smiling, but I have the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, thank you guys for having us in, in your show. It's, a, it's yeah. an honor. Thank you. Thank you. So, Mark. So, I'm finishing up. Yeah. Just a couple of leaves to hide some extra spots. Lena Dio is saying, uh, very beautiful. Uh, muito obrigado. There thank you, you very go. much. That's, thank you very much. But I think you know, uh, Mark. Yeah. You're, you're a man who knows so many languages. So. Uh. Well, I try to uh, I try to understand them at least in in the in the simple simple words. Thank you and good afternoon or good day. I mean, that's at least if you visit a country like that, that's what you should uh, what you should do. Yeah. And that's actually what we uh, pre-COVID did uh you're visiting a lot of countries uh, wholesales exhibitions and uh yeah, and showing the beautiful flowers and all the uh the inspiration yeah and uh of course uh, let's hope we can do it uh, soon again i hope so too john i mean you know i'm looking forward to the moment that we can travel again and, you know meet new people and see new fresh faces and you know work with beautiful product all around the world yeah, and get a bit of a tent because uh, now it's uh, <laughs> for you. It's okay, but I'm 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 looking. I'm still doing okay. I'm yeah. still doing okay. <laughs> Elena is uh, is trying me out now, and she is saying uh, Lindo y diferente. Uh, Soma saying hi. Uh, oh, now uh, now it's getting uh, Jaco Liepo. I hope <laughs> I uh, I pronounce it right, uh, Christina. <laughs> Really beautiful, Mark, again uh, from me, uh, thumbs up. And everybody, if you liked uh, this bouquet, uh, please uh, put some thumbs up as well. It's uh, it's really beautiful. And, and like a good florist, always clean your table after uh, your arrangement so you can start uh, clean again. Very important. Yeah. Lovica is saying beautiful. So we've got some really nice uh, bouquets in. And uh, again, uh, Mark is going to surprise us. Uh, he has some umbrella fern, but uh, that's because of the weather in Holland. <laughs> we, had, uh, we had some snow, we had some rain, we had some hail. We had, uh, we had everything, actually. OK, and, uh, good off. A metal container. It's going to be. Um, Fairly huge. I'll try to make it a little bit lower, but fairly huge. Uh, a foam ring and some sticky fix-it tape put on the edges. Yeah. Over here, as you can see. 
and then I just stuck the oasis or the foam ring on top of the, the container. Um, and of course, let me just sort out a little bit of these beautiful flowers. Got some beautiful snapdragons, some beautiful the chrysanthemum, of course, the beautiful chrysanthemums in different colors. Um, and some larkspur. Anita saying that one was my favorite, the previous one. But uh, Anita, just wait until the end of the show, then you can really decide what your favorite was. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I ask people as well, uh, let us know what's your favorite, what's your favorite flower uh, that you have seen. Um, Anita saying, now it's uh, time for the pot of gold. Christina saying, great. So uh, we get a lot of uh, good comments in. Uh, yeah. I mean, good such to a, hear. good to hear that you enjoy it so much. Yeah, such a beautiful flower, such a great designs. Um, look okay. at these colors. So this is stuck onto each other now to cover this part because i know for sure that i'm not going to put any flowers in it i have to cover it with some greens of course to make it a little bit more elegant what i do is i just take some of these leaves the aspidistra leaves some say mark <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> some say and did you well, know that story. <laughs> the, the, the story goes that mark loves Espedistra so much, he has an Espedistra pillow on his bed. So he sleeps with the Espedistra. Well, that's not complete, completely true, but I mean... There's an Espedistra plant next to your bed. <laughs> there is a plant actually next to my bed that is an Espedistra plant. No, I'm just joking, but I mean, the major thing about this lease and why I love using this so much is that um, you know, it's fast, it's easy, it covers the whole uh, area if, if you know what to do with it. I mean, and it always looks good and I mean, it's, it's easy to use. You can fold it, you can bend it, you can uh, put, you know, all kinds of things in it. Sometimes I staple it. I mean, it's really easy. We did, uh, I remember that back then when we did still did show live shows, we did, uh, we took, we made 25 different shapes of uh, the Espedistra leaf. So just be creative and you can make so many shapes. And then it's also, so also with the flowers, you can play with it. And I think as a good florist, you should play with it as well. You know, try different things, uh, you know, and see if it works. I mean, and again, I'll just add some other greens to it as well. Some Ruskus, Italian Ruskus. Yeah. And I'm just folding it over and bending it in and, you know, just to cover the base a little bit. Yeah. You know, in the comments already also, so many inventive and clever tricks of the trade. I think that's, that's the most important thing. Uh, just get some quick ideas that make a huge difference in a, in a bouquet or an arrangement. That's how you yeah. can stand out as a, as a good florist. Definitely. And sometimes if, if uh, you know, business is a little bit slow, you know, and you have some flowers left, just play around with them and see what they can do for you. And maybe you can use it for the next time if, if you have an event or, um, you know, uh, get to know your materials. I mean, that's always uh, important. I have to say that I've been already some some years into the floral industry and uh, you know working on different uh, events and occasions and locations. Um, you know, so I know what to do. And of course, you know, this is you know you, you keep on learning. I mean, also with the new varieties, um, color-wise or shape-wise. You know, you will just keep on adding to your knowledge and, you know, that's that's a good thing. I mean, it keeps on going. Yeah, I think as a florist, uh, it's also good to look at the websites of, of breeders and look at the website of Ball. And then you can see the new things which are coming up, new colors, new uh, varieties, new shapes, all those things. It helps you at a, as a florist as well. I mean, it helps you stand out of the crowd as well. If you have something new in your shop, uh, people will talk about it. 
Oh, definitely. I mean, always show them what you can do and, you know, if you have the time for it, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, but also to trigger yourself in, in you know, what can do, what materials can do for, for you or how to work with them or how you can display them uh, the best way that they will sell. Yeah. I mean, this again is, is going to look really, really beautiful. I can already see it. Uh, Joe Hammond was also saying that it really looks lovely. So, uh. you know, just my creative mind, I mean, you know, normally you just put a couple of blocks of foam into that base and, you know, uh, that's it. And then you fill up the, the flowers. But you know, if, if you start thinking about it and developing yourself, you can sometimes come up with uh, other ideas. How about if you use like a glass container? I mean, yeah. I mean, with some, you know, stones in the bottom and, you know, that can work really well as well and make a, a, a huge difference. It's really beautiful. Now we're traveling all over the world. We've got some Italian Roscas. Now we're using umbrella fern from Australia. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit uh, traveling, traveling circus. Yeah. <laughs> If you can't travel, we just get products from all over the world. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's still, thank God, um, you know, keeps on going. I yeah. mean, you know, I wish I could travel all the, you know, uh, countries, but unfortunately. And it's really, it's already the greens and, 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 and the pot of gold are making already that the delphinium is standing out so much and uh, now adding the flowers and the, the, the funny thing for me is I see the container you're using a ring but it looks like the whole container is filled with flowers already so yeah you know and I can imagine that um, you know if you put this on a pedestal and for example you put in like an LED really nice light into the center part Oh, wow. um, yeah. up lights the flowers from within you know it makes a huge difference i mean and people will see it and you know can't believe that you know that it's it works really well yeah this pink friday is a real nice one i've got a nice close-up uh, from this one as well okay that's good so i'm showing it to the people now and while Mark is uh, <laughs> trying to, to look if it's really the same one, but it is, Mark, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's good check, check, double check. I mean, double check. You, you, never to... <laughs> you never know with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I was showing a yellow one. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why. I know you now for a couple of years, so uh, I know what you can do. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's online, so I can't uh, do all the jokes. <laughs> no, 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 no. You better not do that. Yeah. Uh, Millie is saying hello. Very beautiful arrangements. Watching from Ball Kenya. So we also got Ball in from Kenya. So uh, that's really nice. Welcome, Millie. Good evening. I think it's evening in, uh, in Kenya already. Okay. And now I'm just. Adding another chrysanthemum. Yeah. And it's not really a red chrysanthemum, but it has that, um, I don't know how to call it, but cherry like. Shall, shall, I, just shall I just show it, uh, Mark? <laughs> Maybe that helps. <laughs> I was just waiting for you to, 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 to mm. struggle a bit. <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> It's, it's yeah you, uh, you say cherry really hot pink but it's it's really really intense color and yeah uh, now you can see it already in the design it's uh popping out but it also uh makes the other other flowers stand out more so so together it's it's really nice And in the background, actually, you can see the beautiful experience center of uh, Luchtlisiantes, where we uh, where we work. So 
next to uh, next to the nursery. <laughs> okay, and then for the beautiful snapdragons, they will pop out as well, and I'll put them in a little bit outwards. Yeah. Luckily, we have uh, Liz watching. Uh, Mark, she's helping us. She's saying magenta. That's that's the word magenta. we were looking for. That's the word we were looking for. Thank you very yes. much, uh, Liz. Magenta. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I'm so happy that we have viewers that are helping us out. <laughs> and, uh, and not just saying, hmm, I don't know if this is nice. <laughs> Well, there is always an off button. I mean, yeah. Suma's in as well, saying hello from Bangalore, India. Very beautiful arrangement. Okay. That's what I like about this arrangement. I mean, all the colors together, the structures uh, with the leaves on the edge, the color scheme of the pot with the flowers. Um, and of course, beautiful products. Don't forget yeah. about that one. I mean, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful products. I think this really fits as well with the slogan of Ball that it has now uh, for this line, saying "Untamed Beauty." This is this pot of gold is a pot of untamed beauty. Oh, definitely true. Definitely true. So, and then as a final. Flower. I'm just going to add some stock in a purple color, and that will blend in really well. It's nice uh, as well. Get some scent in the in the arrangement as well. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit stock. Stock has always a little bit of a peppery, uh, distinguished this really distinguished fragrance to it, yeah. which I really love. I don't know if John can smell it, John, who is filming, because John has been uh, in a field of hyacinths. I don't know, it was I have five hectares of hyacinths, so with all the smell around, with all the scent around him, I think he will uh, have that scent uh, in his clothes and in his nose for the, the coming weeks. Yeah, <laughs> same as the hail, the snow, and the rain. Uh, yeah, the, but that was the typical Dutch weather, uh, John. <laughs> I, w I was happy I was sitting behind the computer and, and asking the questions. But uh, but it looked amazing and it smelled amazing as well. Yeah. Um, Barbara Blossom is saying it's like a fine uh, tapestry. tapestry. Uh, those colors together are abs absolutely gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? It I really love is. These colors. Mark, you know that I've got two of those pots at home. Yes. Yes. So uh, when you, when you come over, <laughs> bring that pot as well, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might disappear in the upcoming next weeks. I don't know what's going to happen with it. <laughs> I really love this one as well. Yeah. Uh, Liz is saying this is my favorite. Uh, this is amazing. My favorite. You see, you see. Um, actually, it's very simple. Straight uh, upward design. Uh, but still with the center part, um, can you imagine that there is a, a light inside and that it's glowing, that the flowers are sort of glowing uh, with the light inside? I think that will be really, really stunning. You know, really and it's, it's a really large arrangement with beautiful, lots of beautiful flowers, but it's also the idea to use a pot and then like the foam ring on top of it and then fill it up because, you know, because of these flowers, it's really high up because I want to show them to you. Uh, but if you have some different flowers, how about, you know, using that uh, foam ring with, for example, uh, roses, you know, that can be an idea as well. Yeah. So. Barbara Blossom is saying my favorite also. Uh, Mariana is saying flower forest. And I really like that, that, like Mark said, if you have a, a light in the, in the pot that will stand out or make the uh, arrangement stand out even more. But also because you're only putting the flowers in the ring, you're not using as much flowers as you should think when you use a big pot like that. No, true. Totally true. So 
So actually, uh, Mark, as well for this one, this is also uh, my favorite number five. So, <laughs> so very good, very good. Thank you, John. Not Mambo number five, the dancing we keep for later. So uh, because uh, I'm afraid I heard uh, Carmen is a very good dancer and I'm not. So uh, I will look a little bit stupid. <laughs> If we come together to on on an exhibition, I will promise uh, Carmen that I will, you know, invite you for to dance with me uh, someday. Okay, I will get Carmen in. I will get Carmen into the live stream, so you will you can. Yeah, did you hear that, Carmen? Yes. Oh, one second. Um, yeah. No? What, what did no, you say? I didn't hear you, Mark. So I'll dance with both of you. So we'll see you next show. I don't know when. Hopefully, it's still this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, so uh, I'll invite you for a dance, so, so you know already. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I will try to get some dancing shoes then. <laughs> mm -hmm, absolutely. <laughs> okay, actually, uh, Carmen, this is uh, already the, the last bouquet, so uh, yeah, let's enjoy this one. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, how do you like it so far? What do you think of the bouquets? So far, so good. I'm actually I'm, uh, happy with that with that last one because I see it's all about chrysanthemums there. Yeah. There. Okay. Now, so let's quickly uh, get into the into this one. And Mike, you said you like the yellow one. Oh wait! I will get you back, Mark. Yeah. And you said you like that yellow one very much, but besides that one, which other one has been your favorite ones? Of course. If you have it. Um, you know, this one is a really good color as well, like a really bright orange. Uh, this one I really like. Um, and then, of course, the, the pink one. Uh, mm -hmm. This one, because of, also because of the color and also this pink one. Um, you know, it's really, and it's also because of the, the, the shape of the flower. I mean, it's really uh, opened up and it's really nice to uh, to use. You know, it has a little bit of a dual tone and this one I don't mind. Usually I'm not a big fan of dual tone flowers, but in this case, I really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and of course you also have this one. That's a really dual tone chrysanthemum. Absolutely. And, and that one has one. already been accepted in, in some of the farms. Yeah, and this one, um, what I said, I, I don't like so much the dual tones, but I think this one is outstanding because of the vibrance of the flower. Uh, Absolutely. You know, the red in the center, uh, the edge of the yellow, and then the greenish yellow center as well. So, you know, and I tuck some into John's, you know, just to see what you can do with it, like a little... Ah, so, you know, okay. it's it's multiple usable as well, you know, and it's really vibrant. So and now we're also to post on the on the chat, which ones have been your favorite ones so that we can see uh, what is going to be very good for this year. Yeah. OK. OK, great. I think uh, let's let's start, uh, Mark. Um, this will be the end bouquet, so it has to be a little bit more spectacular. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not talking about uh, designing because people are saying uh, Mark and Dons, uh, Mark and Ma <laughs> Mark and Mambo. <laughs> uh, learn some Bollywood steps for a change. So, uh, Mark, <laughs> um, can we do that afterwards, uh, please, John? <laughs> um, um, okay, for this time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so talking about making a bouquet out of chrysanthemums, um, I don't know, to make it a little bit different. Um, what I do is I start off with one chrysanthemum in the center. As you can see, it's the pink one. And then I'm just going to add, on the sides, I'm just going to add more chrysanthemums. But every chrysanthemum that I put there, it will be a little bit longer. Um, and of course, in that spiral technique, you know, that's the way how to make bouquets really uh, work. Let me just... So actually, normally or normally, what a lot of florists do is, is the center flower is higher and then go lower and lower. And yeah. And you are doing 
uh, the opposite. The opposite. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, just, you know, this is also bouquet. It has to be stunning. It's the final bouquet. So, you know, I can make it a little bit more bigger than, you know, the rest. Um, talking about design and shapes, I mean, you know, what I said earlier is try things, different things out. And, you know, I've done this bouquet also uh, earlier in one of the shows or the live shows we've done in one of the countries. Um, where I had to design a bouquet for somebody on the spot and no preparation at all and with only also chrysanthemums and you know just to make it a different shape I just started with that bouquet and I came up with this idea and you know on the end it looked amazing you know and the people were amazed about you know what you can do you know that's that's again is that uh, your creative mind, if you start working with it and see how it works out, um, what you can do with flowers. I think that uh, if you work in a flower shop, you have to be creative yourself. Sometimes people come in and they say, okay, I want to make a bouquet, and they point out what they want. And then as a florist, sometimes you think, how can they choose those combinations? So don't be shy, try some crazy combinations yourself as well but because you can see what sometimes customers uh, ask for combinations so uh, try some new things and and now as well what mark is making uh, with all the different colors all the different shapes it's uh, it's a wow bouquet for everybody well at okay. least i hope that uh, you know people can uh, the viewers that they will get some ideas out of it and you know start trying uh, it out themselves and you know for sure with the chrysanthemums, it will last forever. I mean, the vase life is, is, is great. Definitely. That's one thing that is for sure. You know, tying it off with a couple of the palm tree leaves. Oh, I see you need to go. You already got your shopping bag uh, <laughs> standing there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's really beautiful. But now we're looking at the front of the bouquet, so we can't see the depth, but we, we just saw it, and that makes the bouquet really stand out for me. Okay, now I have to hold it with one hand, tie it off. You need to have big hands with a, such a big bouquet as well. <laughs> yes. Let me just cut it first. And then I'll tie it off. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. Well, honestly, saying I can't decide which design I like the most. All are gorgeous. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, but um, you, you have to decide now because uh, or you can, of course, say that they are all beautiful. Um, but this is, yeah, this is actually the last bouquet already. And uh, while well, Mark is, uh, he has a sleeve XXXXL uh, there. Wow. And this is actually a trial. And what's the trial? I can see it. Maybe people uh, have seen it already as well. Well, the fun part is, is that I know that everything has to be wrapped as well. But a big bouquet in um, already finished wrapping, um, you know, you don't have these kind of big wrap, uh, wraps for it. Uh, the sleeve. So what I did is I used a couple of different sleeves from different companies that really, uh, you know, go well together. And I made one big sleeve out of it using just some staples on the edges. And I mean, don't you think this is fabulous? 
This is really, really beautiful. And I hope you can see the depth a little bit. Yeah. So with so, this bouquet, I really want to thank uh, the ball company from my part uh, for supplying me the beautiful flowers they have. Um, you know, so. One second, uh, John. Don't uh, don't go too early. <laughs> you so sound like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, yeah. Carmen is back again. I'm back again. Um, I want to thank you, Carmen. Uh, yeah, for letting us work with those beautiful products, the beautiful chrysanthemums, and and uh, for sure we will see much more the coming years of the the beautiful products. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, uh, Carmen. Famous. Oh wait, sorry. Yeah, now we can hear you. No, guys. Now, can you ship back those arrangements over to Colombia so that I can put them in my back? Yeah. In my, <laughs> well, no, in my room, because those are amazing. <laughs> We're just going to do the show here in Colombia next time. Let's do that. Fly over. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you see, Mark already has a bag so he can pack the, the bouquet. <laughs> so, John. Absolutely. Well, Pro Floor is coming soon, so hopefully I see I'll see you guys here. Yeah, let's uh, let's hope it uh, it will uh, go on, and then for sure we will be uh, we will be there. Absolutely. Uh, everybody, thank you for watching, and uh, for the people who know Flower Circus, we always go with a big. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> this one isn't working. <laughs> thank you very I didn't much. Get that one in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, stay safe and hope to see you soon. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.